Hello everyone, this is part 3 of my Exploring Poland series in which I shall be talking about this stunning city of Cieszyn which lies in the southwest border of Poland and Czech Republic. Let's go! To start off with, I along with my friend Bob, as you might remember from my past videos, if you haven't seen already, please check the link in the description for part 1 and part 2. We were dropped off to Cieszyn by our wonderful coordinator Madam Karina and on a bright sunny morning and from here all my experiences began. This is the Three Brothers Well and it's stunning. I spent a big chunk of my time at this institute of higher learning called Mikowaya Kopernika. It's established in 1927 and it's named after the Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus, a pioneer in astrophysics. I interacted with a lot of students, teachers and professionals from different backgrounds. There were different rooms in which French, German, British English were taught and I attended some of them and it was pretty fun to be in a different environment like out of your comfort zone and like getting to know the people, getting to know the students. A picture with the students with the Big Ben. I had the sincere pleasure to interact and communicate with the students of Kaparnika. Most of them had high ambitions and some of them were deeply interested in engineering, basic sciences. One of my friends, like he was interested in paramedics and his name is Nihao, as I remember. Like he was my host family in Cheshun and there's another called Bartek as I remember. He plays violin exceptionally well and he's quite popular in the school I think. I got a picture with it anyway. I was fortunate to attend a Russian tea demonstration class in which some very peculiar looking and very beautifully decorated like teapots, leaves and even the kettle were demonstrated to us and like a different sort of tea I tried. Uh, basically it's like normal green tea in which you add a little bit of a fruity flavor. Most of them it, it could be anything say from oranges, raspberries, strawberries and what else. So we had a sip and it was quite good and like I will show one photo of them like here the entire Russian set piece and this one I was barely getting enough space one fine afternoon Mihao and his buddies took me and Bob to try out the special kebabs uh, which they said it's very good it's uh, what I understood it's the Turkish donor kebabs it was very good no doubt and it had two versions one is very popular in Poland, which I happen to see all over the places. It's something they really like, what is called garlic sauce. And something, the normal one is the hot Sejon sauce, I think. So we had both of them and the kebabs were good, no doubt. And, but for me, it was totally okay. It was medium spicy, but it was very tasty. Uh, if you go to Cheshen once, you should definitely check out that place. And I will put up small pick. This, let me click first. This was mine. And this, perhaps my favorite. Fun thing, apart from me, most of the people who had those, they had completely watery eyes, flushed cheeks because it was too, too spicy for them. But yeah, spice content is like a matter of taste. Some people feel different way, but uh, it's a must try, I would say. This is hospital in Polish. Speaking of cost effectiveness, the city of Cheshire is not very expensive, not very cheap either. So you could buy your normal groceries to non-edible stuff, to normal restaurants at a relatively affordable price. That's not a problem. Just make sure you have a lot of coins because people value coins a lot. They, you can actually exchange your money in small ATMs which are referred to as bankomats like ATM. You will find the old town square of Cheshire very attractive and beside that it's just like around 750 meters just in walking you can see the borderland bridge of Poland and Czech Republic which I will be showing in some another video maybe or how about it. The Czech border. Left side is Czech Republic, right side is Poland and the river bridge border. In addition to that there are a lot of cafes, restaurants and bistros all over Cheshire. This is Palermo's Pizzeria, a famous restaurant. I went to one of them, it's called La Nostra and it was pretty good. Do give it a try to the Polish cuisine, you won't be disappointed. It's built underground. I would like to mention two friendly students from Kapernika, namely Victoria and Veronica. These two were too much engaged in my classes. 
and they were very interesting and they used to follow up my classes and did i miss my tea no way and one obligatory picture yes yes mathematics don't freak about maths maths is fun have it in the right way and uh, not everyone will be equally inclined towards mathematics but relax nothing there's nothing to be stressed about it as an international student all the best to all the students who are appearing for matura or like the final exams to all the students in kopernika the coordinators were very helpful and the students were very interesting and they got to learn a lot i got to learn a lot some of could be polish words polish cultures polish like fun things mean it was good treats polish strawberries are the best i have tried so that would be it for today and this is my overall view about cheshen it's a really nice city uh, one thing to mention the weather is a little bit on the hotter side compared to other cities of poland so do keep that in mind and yeah you should give it a try like it's a nice place to actually visit and yeah that's uh, more or less all about from me so let's see what i can talk about in the next video do leave a comment or suggestion about this or anything for the future video in the comments and do check my previous videos the link is in the description as i mentioned before hit a like if you like my experience and do not forget to subscribe to my channel have a nice day thank you mrs morchenek and sabina thanks martha